Excellency, this is the first signing. We'll also request that Wilfred Mwiti be on standby to sign the next one. Wilfred Mwiti is from Meru Wood Industries. Narendra Kumar Parsani to be on standby. On standby, if we can also have Singh Vinod Kumar. As you can see, Your Excellency, it has countrywide coverage. And after this, if we can have on standby, Liu. And on standby, if we can have. Currently signing is Singh Vinod Kumar, East India Udyong, which is covered. On standby, if we can also have Pali Limited on standby. T International as the last one to sign this particular session out of the 26 international next and on standby if we can have element and Meru county It is indeed my great pleasure to join this uh, special occasion to witness the signing of the works contract of the last mile connectivity project. As you know, AFD has been historically engaged into financing energy sectors in Kenya. And energy will continue to be a strategic sector for AFD. We have finance over 1 billion euros in this very sector over the last 20 years. AFD support covers generation, transmission, distribution, and access. We have mobilized different financial tools from sovereign to non-sovereign loans grants, including with our European partners. The objective of the last mile connectivity project is to connect to the electricity network up to almost 3,000 new customers to the grid in 32 counties. By supporting the implementation of this project, AFD, alongside his partner like EIB, are very happy to contribute to the development of the Kenya's infrastructure required to foster economic growth and contribute positively to the sustainable development goals by bridging the gap and reducing disparities between rural and urban areas. And we indeed have to commend Kenya for addressing this very issue that many other countries in Africa do face. And the efforts made by this country serve as a reference in, for our action in other countries. I am especially delighted to support that project because we know that by supporting this project, Kenya will meet the commitment of its vision 2030. I take the opportunity to congratulate Kenya Power for overseeing the successful implementation of the project. After the way, we'll also be signing this Wednesday the Seven Fox Solar Project with Kenjin, adding 42.5 megawatt solar power into the Kenya renewable energy mix. We are indeed very delighted to support Kenjin and look forward. 
to its timely implementation. Last but not least, FD will support Ketraco on transmission lines by reinforcing the National Control Center. As I told you, our commitment is complete because of the state, what is at stake when it comes to energy. There's no way, no way you can transform a country if you don't address this very issue of energy. Even Lenin said that back during the revolution. Today, I proudly stand before you as the European Union ambassador to Kenya to witness the contract signing ceremony of the last mile connectivity project to get, together with Team Europe partners, Agence Française de Développement, AFD, and your, the European Investment Bank, EIB. Today's event marks another milestone in the long-standing and strong energy partnership between Kenya and Team Europe. Just last week, Kenya hosted the very successful global conference on energy efficiency. And together with Honorable Davis Chirchir and the European Union Commission of Energy, Katri Simpson, we had the pleasure to launch the new EU-Kenya Global Gateway Energy Program Green Resilient Electricity System. This 36 billion shilling program will expand the country's production of green electricity from hydro, geothermal and solar sources as well as improving, and this is very important, grid stability and efficiency. Today, we are together to launch the start of the implementation of the important last mile connectivity program that will strongly support Kenya's goal to reach by 2030 universal access to affordable, reliable and modern energy services. The last mile connectivity program has been developed under EU's Global Gateway Initiative in close collaboration with the Kenyan government. The program has an overall budget of 26 billion Kenyan shillings, which is 180 million euros, with financing from Agence Française de Développement, the European Union Investment Bank, and the European Union. Connectivity to electricity is a vital part of Kenya's development, and this project will connect 280,000 households to the electricity grid in 32 counties and hereby give 1.5 million Kenyans direct access to reliable supply of electricity. Access to electricity, as we heard, has more than doubled in Kenya over the past decade from 37% in 2013 to 75% today. Kenya is well on track and establishes itself as a front runner in sustainable practices on infrastructure development and green transition. To achieve the goal of universal and sustainable electricity access, the necessary investments are very high and not always commercially attractive for the private sector. This is why the European Union is supporting this connectivity program with a major grant of 4.3 billion Kenyan shillings, which is 30 million euros, that will help reduce the investment costs and make the project sustainable. I do recall, Your Excellency, when I was Minister for Energy in 2013-2014, when you basically employed what most of the learned people borrow from what you call the Potter's, Potter's Competitive Theory, where the cost of entry to the power system in Kenya was so prohibitive that nobody was able to get into the power system because they needed to have a one-off connection fee of 75000 and it was just impossible to move 
20,000 customers to the grid because for a long time we moved from 1.5 million to 1.6 million to 1.7 to 2.2 million in 2013. And since coming up with that very competitive framework that basically looks at uh, time and cost of entry, looks at the economies of scale in terms of maximization of the transformer, looks at the cost advantages of ensuring that the transformer, a very huge investment, which has been basically put on the ground, can be leveraged on and connect maximum customers and therefore have the customers connect slowly over a period of time. That was a huge barrier to entry for Kenyans. And I do remember sitting in your office and cutting down this cost of entry and having customers to pay over a long period of time. And today, we sit among as the leading African countries at 75% access to power, uh, customers being connected without a payment, and yet we are able to recover all that cost. We have come to sign off this program. I know the agreement between our great partners here, ourselves and the contractors is 18 months. I want to request the contractors to accelerate this program and if there is anything government of Kenya can do to make it that much more easy for you to deliver this program ahead of time, Davis and company will make sure they will be at hand to support you, to make sure that the Kenyans who are listening to me today in different parts of Kenya who do not have electricity and who today know that electricity is on the way. I want to ask you not to delay by a day or a minute or a week. Let us deliver at the earliest opportunity possible. Today, I am presiding over a contract signing ceremony to unlock 27 billion Kenyan shillings or euros 180 million, thereby launching a drive to connect an additional 280,000 Kenyans in 32 counties of our country. This is a very affirmative action pro uh, program. This phase of the project has been made possible because of our commitment of Kenya shillings 2.5 billion, complemented with counterpart funding from French Development Agency, and I want to thank them for being present, the European Union, thank you, uh, Henrietta, and the European Investment Bank. I wish to express profound appreciation to our development partners for their consistent support throughout the course of this initiative, and in particular to FDA, EU, and EIB for their support of this part of our plan. We are firmly on course to achieving 100% connectivity by 2030. As I speak, we are working on a similar connectivity program worth 22 billion in partnership with AFD and the Kingdom of Saudi to connect another 270,000 Kenyans to electricity. So, apart from the 280,000 that this program is going to connect, there is another 270,000 we are in the final stages of that program because I made a commitment to the people of Kenya and I want to deliver on that commitment because we have been working for the last one year to make sure that we have connected all the partners that have supported this program. Everybody knows that this program at some point went down because there was inadequate resources to drive it. And when I made a commitment to the people of Kenya that connecting electricity is going to be part of our plan, and especially this last mile connectivity program that seeks to equalize the people of Kenya so that people in informal settlements, people in different parts of Kenya, as part of our bottom-up economic transformation program, that you don't have to live in a posh state to have electricity. Electricity must be an equalizer that equalizes all Kenyans, irrespective of their social status, irrespective of their financial capacity, and that is what this program is going to do. Power connectivity is a vital priority because electricity 
is the lifeblood of modern economies. The last mile electricity project has enabled business in rural areas to flourish, contributing significantly to our GDP and creating numerous job opportunities. It has also revolutionized our agricultural sector, powering irrigation systems and agro-processing units, thereby boosting productivity and ensuring food security. By connecting millions of households to power grid, we have not only illuminated homes, but also empowered communities, enhanced education opportunities, improved health services, and turned the entire country into one flourishing economic hub. Universal access is therefore fundamental to achieving economic inclusivity. The Last Mile Connectivity Project is also news to the hustler economy, the micro, small, and medium enterprises, which is the engine of our economy, benefits in immensely from reliable power, enabling them to operate efficiently and by expanding their rich capability and output. Reliable electricity supply is a crucial enabler which complements our other commitments of supporting small businesses, including initiatives such as the Hustler Fund, the housing program we're running, the SHIP program that is already uh, on the way, and all the other programs that we are running. I, as I committed to the people of Kenya, we're going to work together in this, uh, in this program. I have announced uh, a program that will be done between AFD and uh, Saudi. There is yet another program that we are going to work with the World Bank. When I was in Washington, we agreed with President Biden on how America is going to lead the way in ensuring the replenishment of IDA 21, that we are looking for 120 billion uh, US dollars to be able to support concessional funding. When you had Ambassador Endieta uh, uh, here say that of, them, of these 27 billion, 4.3 billion is a grant. It is not money that we are going to uh, pay interest or even pay at all. That, those are the kind of resources that we are looking for when you find uh, us working on programs like the IDA, like the replenishment program under uh, Africa Development Bank that we, we support in full, because it is concessionary resources that is going to assist our economies to be able to close the gap on development financing so that we can be able to do more with the taxes we are raising, we can be able to do more with the um, uh, loans that we get that are concessionary, like uh, the one that is here, and we can do more through IDA and through AFDB with grants. The Last Mile Connectivity Project is not only effectively bridging the development gap between urban and rural communities, but it has also effectively raised the overall rate of national productivity across sectors by facilitating the uptake of efficient technologies. Part of the reason why I wanted to look at the men and women who are going to implement this project in their faces, and I'm happy all the contractors are here, is because this project is too important for me. It is one of the projects that when I campaigned, the people of Kenya in many areas told me they have no electricity. I remember when I went to plant trees in uh, Moranga uh, about two weeks ago, a whole community there were telling me, Mr. President, we are yet to have the electricity. I am very happy today that the people in that village in Moranga, there is now a contractor who is going to make sure that they get the electricity that I agreed with them. This is, this is very personal because, as we have all said, beyond connecting electricity to people, we also have another program that is going to ride on the transmission lines that you're going to build. You will know, and I'm sure the Kenya Power uh, Management will tell you, that as you uh, um, connect the transmission lines, we will also be connecting fiber. Because we have also committed ourselves 
that as we deliver on electricity, we must deliver internet. We must deliver connectivity. And we have made a conscious decision that we are now going to leverage on the network that Kenya Power has of transmission lines across Kenya for us to deliver last mile connectivity to the internet. Because we are moving to the digital space. We are moving our government services to the digital space. We have ICT hubs that are coming up across Kenya. We are moving our business to e-commerce. We are moving our learning to e-learning. We are moving health to e-health. And therefore, the internet is going to be as important as the electricity we are delivering today. So in this project, we are delivering two very critical aspects of the last mile. We are delivering electricity and we are delivering internet. This event is an immense milestone on Kenya's journey towards achieving universal access to electricity in order to align our infrastructure development with our broader aspiration for a brighter, more prosperous future for the Kenyan people. In the beginning, this vision was not just seen as, a, as bold and ambitious. It was also considered to be too audacious to be possible. But it has become possible due to resolute commitment to deliver consistent investment of resources and determination to ensure that every Kenyan household, regardless of location, enjoys reliable and affordable energy. I remember we had many conversations, as David Davis has said, in 2013, as to how we will reduce the barrier for entry into having power in people's homes. And I remember somebody telling us, it is like you have already bought a bus that carries 50 people. And only five people can afford. So you are, you are carrying five people in a bus that already costs you, you already have hired a driver, you have put fuel, but you're only carrying five people. Why don't you carry everybody and give them a credit to pay you later? You will make more money that way. It was as simple as that. And that is when we decided to invert the payments. We said, let us connect everybody who is near a grid. Let us connect everybody who is near a transformer. And then let us amortize the payment we would have wanted from them over three to five years. And it has become magic. We have moved from 2.3 million people connected in, 2020, in, in 2013 to now 9.6 million people connected in 2024.